Welcome back to Cabmaster Software. Today we're going to show you how to modify some default settings for your buttons. So you start standard Cabmaster, so insert wall. If you put down a wall, you notice by default it's bright yellow. Everyone complains about that because it looks terrible. You can modify it. Format wall, go down to textures, you can change the color there. That's only changing it for this drawing. What you can actually do go to insert right click on the wall you've got a whole lot of options you can use here you can say you can save them in here um, so you can actually load and uh, use other ones here we can actually format it here so what I'm going to do is by default I'm going to change this I'm going to define custom color you can just change it to whatever color you like I've got a defined one here that I already want anyway so I'm going to use this color here that's my default color you can change your default heights and all those sorts of things as well so next time I go and choose a wall I put that down there go to 3d it's now the color I want it to be so it makes it much easier to set all your standards by default once you've done that you can then right click on it and go save as and you can save it as something as well um, as an example standard color wall not doing well typing today so now I've got a if I right click on it I've now got one called standard color wall so if I click that one it's always going to use those settings you can do this with a whole lot of these buttons uh, the light tool for example you can format the light and specify the start at 40 to 40 percent brightness otherwise they're really intensely bright um, dimensions dim set I like to change all these things because I find them far too big so I like this I've set one up here called dimensions v10 this should be in the version 10 if anyone gets version 10 upgrades this will be in it so when you actually dimension the dimensions are red the text um, the text is much smaller than what it has been previously so if you also go with elevations exactly the same thing with elevations you can format the elevation tool go to your label change this to be five color to be red so when you generate an elevation so I'm going to right click auto elevation when I put a cabinet down you can see the dimensions are now red and smaller they're not the big black ones that they used to be I can also go and change these texts here and change all the lines to be whatever color I like as well I like to go red because when you print red on a black and white printer it prints gray so it just makes it gives a very good distinction blue um, brown black all print black but red prints gray so it does actually stand out as being slightly different it makes it much cleaner so it shows dimensions are different from actual other other parts so I've now delete this elevation and create a new one we've now got smaller dimensions now they're red the lines are red you can do text as well standard text you can save sta t standard text layouts blocks of text so if you use a standard terms and conditions you can save that in a text or a text box that you can reuse and you can sa go save as when you need to use something later on you can right click and just click on it we have and dimensions as example there's all the different types of dimensions we got saved by default you can do the same thing with text you can do the same thing with walls you can do the same thing with lights capping 3d models horizontal panels any of these buttons here, you can save things in then when you actually go and use these buttons if you could set up this other toolbar down here like we showed in a in another video same thing can happen you can actually right click and you've still got all those options here so I can do dimension blue very quickly and now I've got blue dimension so I can right click choose dimension green click on the dimensions yes I'll start a new one there and there to there and now I've got a green dimension as well so you can very quickly change between different items as well so that's how you can modify and set up any defaults for any of these buttons up here so again thanks very much for watching Capmaster Software <music>